All right. I promise I would watch this one as well. Do it on stream, Patreon, Bellyor. I would only do it off stream because I think I need to put in personal information. And so I, I'd have to do it that way. You'd be a P.O. box so we can send you shit. Uh, yeah, I think probably y you will, literally. So that's why I haven't gotten one yet, but I will at some point. Okay. Uh, this is the other one, and then we'll watch the uh, the tips one. Okay. And uh, after that, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to probably get to work on that Mecha Gun thing because I did that too. Um, stress test, 8th, 8th of August. Sounds great. Okay, so obviously that's a Shara, and uh, that right there is um, the other guy. Okay. Ooh. Oh shit! Yeah, baby. He just We're got a back summon. with another video. Oh, this. Just been uh, questing in Mechagon and okay. Nagitar and uh, okay. getting me some new gear. Looking pretty sexy, huh? Looking pretty fine, the fucking Viking if I do say so I like myself. It. That's right. Call me, ladies. I've got a big sword. <laughs> but guys, hello. Okay. It's me. Okay. It's Nixium. And welcome back to another video. And in this one, I want to talk a little bit about patch 8.2 and sort of uh, what I think about 8.2 so far. Okay. Specifically, right. I want to talk a little okay. bit about Nagitar and I want to talk about Mechagon. What? Did I pronounce that right? Najatar? Najatar? I don't know either. Najatar? I don't know, man. Freaking Naga Nobody names, knows. dude. Like, no one knows how to pronounce this shit. True. Now, guys, the newest World of Warcraft patch has just come out, and patch mm -hmm. 8.2 has been a big breath of fresh air to the WoW community. This is true. BFA, well, I unless you've this been under a true. rock, Battle for Azeroth hasn't really been the best received expansion. Sucks dick. And in WoW's history, there's been a lot of negativity surrounding the game lately. A lot of people have been leaving the game to try out other titles, or they've sad. just been waiting very patiently Truly for sad. classic WoW. Less than a month away, by the way, hey. guys. You guys ready for adventure? Hey, I am. There it but is. The point is, uh, a lot of people haven't been too happy lately. There's been a lot of criticisms surrounding the Heart of Azeroth system, yep. just the world in general, yep. Blizzard's approach to the game, the lack yep. of a community feel to... Uh, the point is, is that it just hasn't not been good. that well received. And 8.2 has come out, and although 8.2 hasn't really fixed the problems, 8.2 has definitely taken Battle for Azeroth in a step in a better direction. We've gotten this new raid I on agree. Queen Ajara's palace. I agree. We've also seen changes to that dreaded necklace that's been around our necks since the beginning yep. of the expansion. That's it's great to see the necklace finally come out of beta. Stupid thing, which... I remember, like, whenever the beta came out, the first thing that I did whenever they introduced the Heart of the Azeroth into the alpha or the beta is I right-clicked it and nothing happened. And I was like, oh, well, they'll fix that. They'll fix that. They'll have like a system or something like that that you can deal with it. Well, it turns out they did fix it uh, about a year later. Halfway into the expansion. It's supposed to be this necklace of power and it makes yep. us, you know, more badass and super powerful so we can fix the world or, or something right. and heal it. Yet yep. it's just a stupid, annoying artifact point system grind again from Legion. So, yep. but this time you don't even get a cool model because it's a necklace and so it's it's hidden. You can't even see it. Yeah. That's bullshit. I don't like it. But in this patch, the necklace, by doing certain things in the world... They should have made it a talisman and added extra gear slots. They can add two more... I think they should add two more ring slots, so you have four rings, like in the original fucking beta for the game. They should add an extra trinket slot. They should create a talisman slot. And they should have extra runes that you can put and equip to your character, right? And, like, they also should have a class-specific item that each character can actually work towards and build up throughout their expansion and throughout their adventures. It's going to take the place of the Heart of Azeroth, so warriors would have, like, a sheath or a battle standard majors would have like a codex uh hunters would have a quiver and all of these different classes would all have each different individual thing that would be the thing that they upgrade and level up themselves without it necessarily taking up a gear slot but actually being an added layer of complexity without it removing the actual progression that your character would naturally have that's what they should have that's what they should do basically legion but a little bit better You get cool new abilities, and it, you know, puts more spells in your hot bars, and that's pretty cool because yep. that's good. Ability pruning has been a big issue in WoW for a while, but that's a subject for another time. The point is, the patch has been pretty good, and it added two new zones to the game: Najatar and Mechagon. 
And I want to talk about these two zones in particular. I want to talk about the good. I want to talk about the bad. And then I want to wrap up with a conclusion. Okay. So let us begin by okay. talking about the glorious zone of Mechagon. That's right. Now, I think that most people would agree that out of both of the two new zones, better. Mechagon is the superior one. Absolutely. I don't know what Blizzard was Please. doing when they made Najatar and Mechagon. It's like they put all their focus and creativity into Mechagon, or at least like 80% of it, and then they put 20% of it into Najatar. So get ready. By the way, I'm going to kind of rip on Najatar a little bit, so just be prepared. But we're going to talk. Here's what it is, is that Najatar was the safe bet. Najatar had all the things that the new zone in WoW is supposed to have. It had a quest zone. Um, it had everything like that. Um, there is nothing unique or different or special about Najatar, right? They did a few things different with it, but Mechagon is much more open-ended. So if you're a classic type player, you are probably going to like Mechagon more. All right, that's the point that I'm making. I need to take a piss. I'll be right back, okay, guys? Just a second, let me turn my turn my guy around so I can look for the mouth. Hey, what's up? Hey. You know, I've been reading uh Reddit comments this whole time and uh I, I'm seeing a lot of like dude, I hope Ninja moving to Mixer makes Twitch Fucking do better, be better. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you think Ninja going to Mixer is gonna make Twitch change their TOS to make it so it's less restrictive, you got another thing coming, buddy. You got another thing coming. This this doesn't mean shit to Twitch. This doesn't mean they're gonna change anything. It's just gonna it's gonna keep getting worse, boys. You'll see. You'll all see. I'm back. What are you saying? Nothing. about Mechagon for a second here. It's a tiny island off the coast of Kol Taras where a bunch of Mechano gnomes are fighting against their crazy robot machine king and you're helping Called them Skynet. to reclaim Mechagon. This also known ancient, as Google. Well, I don't know if it's ancient, but this gnome city. Now let's yep. just make one thing clear. Nobody likes gnomes in World of Warcraft. Gnomes are a plague on Azeroth that need to be exterminated one life at a time. Okay? But true. if there's one thing that people do like in World of Warcraft, Big it's true. fun. And you know what? Mechagon is fun. There's yes. plenty of world quests to do. There's all Mechagon these cool things fun. that you can build with the player base, like jetpacks that allow you to fly around the island. You can build your own mounts. There's the junkyard tinkering system. You can like... Would Mechagon have been better if they didn't allow flying in the zone? And you were able to fly in Najatar, but not Mechagon? That's a big maybe to me. I don't know. If you have war mode on, yes. If not, it's fine. No, then nobody would play with war mode because it would be an active disadvantage. Um, I don't know. That's that's definitely a weird way to look at it, though. We had jetpacks, though. Yeah, but you had to activate and, and, and go and, and seek out those jetpacks, which makes the, the zone more interesting than just having a flying mount. That's, like, actually the whole point that I'm trying to make, really. Find these recipes and come back to this big robot and, like, make some... Why am I on Ignore in game? Fox real? Uh, I, I probably because you fucking annoyed me. Uh, all right, let me let me see here. Uh, let me scroll all the way up. I, I I missed so many fucking donations, guys. I'm sorry. Let me actually just let me uh, unignore Fox real. Okay, I'll take you off ignore whenever I get a chance, Juteo. And you can just message me later on and uh, like on another character, and, I, and I'll do it. Okay, give me one second. Gretzky, thank you for the resubs. Appreciate that. Or the uh, gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you. Got banned for spam. Mods aren't respanding. My police went on bed. Twenty two exp. I really don't want to get into like looking at every single person's logs today, but we're going to just do one one of them. Okay, we're going to look at one person's logs. Oh, yeah. No, I banned you. No, it's okay. My please have an unban. No, uh please uh keep donating and asking for an unban, just like you did the other day. Uh no, I'm I'm not I'm not going to unban you. 
You're, you're a fuck. You're a spurg, man. You're just a fucking spurg. Hey, people, that does this fucking spurg. I don't want. I don't want to see it. Okay. No. No spurg shit. I've never played WoW, but just being the same. Your stream is entertaining as fuck. The Angry Almond. Thanks for two hours. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no advertising or classic because there's no microtransactions. I don't think Blizzard is purposely sabotaging Classic. It wouldn't make surprise me considering Classic could be considered as representing the people who love the game, but not what it's become. That's very true. Uh, I, I think it could absolutely be the case. Okay, let me get back to the video. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to make sure that I caught up on all those so nobody was getting ignored. Cool shit that you can play with when you're on the island. Wait, what? It got tamed again? What? Sweet cheeks. Fuck you, man. Why do you have to do that shit? What do you mean? You knew it was gonna happen. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. The oh, guy th fucking tamed it on stream. And then you called it out that he tamed it on stream. Of I'm... course, people are gonna come over to you and try to do it more. I'm just gonna go. They're just gonna want to fuck with you. Just now. gonna go to another. I'm just gonna go fucking do 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 something else. This is so fucking dumb. Fucking so fucking stupid. Fuck. And then there's the whole punch okay. card trinket system, yep. which I, I like think is badass lot. and awesome. The zone feels like there's a lot to do in it, and as yeah. soon as you land in yeah. Mechagon. You know, it's like there's a surprise around every corner waiting for you. Yeah. Uh, a new puzzle, a new type of mob, a new, ooh, what's this kind ooh, what's of experience. This? I and like that. I really like that. I really love Mechagon. It's a zone that, yeah, it's supposed to be sort of a catch-up zone. It gets you, you know, what you need to be able to go into the Azara raid. It gives you that punch card that gives yep. you like a high item level trinket and blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't yep. feel like a catch-up zone. It doesn't feel like some stupid world quest zone. It it doesn't feel like it at all. And even when you're doing it's like a rep grinding, at least for me, I haven't reached I like this it. point yet. I don't feel like I'm doing a rep grind because I'm genuinely enjoying the zone and the fun little trinkets and things that I can do in the zone. And then there's uh Next time we gotta talk about this item mobile thing, man. You gotta run some Mythic Plus. Like, come on, dude. There's Najatar. So let's talk about Najatar for a okay, second. Let's talk about it. So Najatar is the complete contrast to Mechagon because here's the thing. Najatar, for all intents and purposes, it just feels like another world questing zone. Now I'm gonna yeah. say this. Alright. That's true. The intro cinematic to Najatar is pretty cool. And the premise of Najatar is cool as well. I agree. Queen Najara went down to her local pagan pride day, went to one of those weird ass like rock vendors where they sell the magic rocks. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about? Like the magic magic stones you know what i'm talking about and she used this magic rock to pull back the tides and so we got this big old crater in the middle of the ocean and we're questing and you know you're underneath the water but not really and you see like the big walls i mean you feel like fucking moses when you're walking around part in the red sea that's it's true incredible and i like that the zone Fuck itself yeah. like the the fantasy of it i love it the the waves being held back the the fantasy is great like the feel is amazing but the zone is a bitch. Like, damn. Like, the different, like, pathways and corridors and, like, the hey, multi-layeredness of the zone that's in some real areas. True. Like, dude, this zone is a pain in the that's ass a real to navigate. Mechagon is great. It's just an island. You walk yep. around on it. And, oh, look, you can get a jetpack so you can float your island. ass around and get from or, point Nashar's A to point B, island. like, super easy. But Nashatar, no. You gotta go up these cliffs. You gotta go down these pathways. You gotta go through this cave. You gotta swim under the water like a goddamn fish. Like... I hate this zone, man. Like, the design of it is god-awful. Yep. All right? And that's not even an opinion. That's a fact. There if it is. If you disagree with me, you're wrong. True. Like, dude, it is easier to stick your dick into a concrete wall as opposed to navigating this zone. But... That's insane. I will say a few good things about the zone. The zone is full of a lot of really cool lore. <laughs> I hated Nashtar, Nashtar, until I got flying. And now, I only dislike it. Okay. There's a lot of cool lore and cool cut scenes and whatnot. You get to see some familiar faces. You get to see Zinajari. Yep. You know, for those of you that read the War of the Ancients books back in the day, like I did, because I'm a complete fucking nerd. It's like, whoa, dude, this is it, man. This is where it all happened. Exciting. We finally get to see Ajara being a big bitch to everybody. That's yes, pretty dude. cool, you know? Yep. And there's also some, like, cool characters you get to meet along the way. You get to have, like, a bodyguard, like, fish monster that oh, boy. you can, like, rank up and stuff. And that's kind of neat. Exciting. You know, there's some neat stuff in there. And there's also the, uh, 
the 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 what you call it the system where you can get the gear that makes you better at killing things in the in the in the raid you know the, the fish slaying gear i like that and the only other thing i can think of really that's interesting in ashitar i mean it's not like a like ooh, like an innovative new concept but i do like the whole um the randomly spawning world bosses you know when the dude yells like a servant of ajara is rising from the sea or something and then everybody's like oh shit and they all like pile onto like this one mob and they like destroy it like no they don't because remember those little weird things that spawn underneath the water and you can't see the swirly and then they disorient you and kill you before you can get out of the disorient so it doesn't even matter that's actually what they do because the game's not designed properly and the scale is completely ruined in three seconds and then you're late and then you miss the loot when you actually do get to kill these things yeah, that's pretty cool you know world bosses that, that's nice and I also don't like Ajara's whole, like, oh, I'll get you next time, you rotten kids. I don't really like that vibe it's down stupid. there, you know, whatever. But Nashitar, it's just not as good as Mechagon. I feel like the no. zone is just a big labyrinth. It's confusing to navigate. I've seen a lot of people say that, too. And Mechagon, not only is it very simple, it's an island, you know, little hills and valleys and whatnot. But you can also get around it very easy with a jetpack or flying and just makes things very simple for the player base, and I think that's really cool. Nashatar doesn't have that. It doesn't have that charm. Nashatar just sort of feels like another world quest zone. Y you kill some Naga here, you bounce on some jellyfish here. Ooh, you solve a puzzle there. Yep. And that's it. I'll be honest, whenever I do 8.2 content, I always do the Nashatar stuff first, just because I want to get it out of the way. So I can I do that do on my Mechagon stream, dude. Stuff because I know that I'm gonna have a lot more fun. Yeah, in the I, I do that on my zone. fucking stream. I think Blizzard that in the future, you should try to make more zones like Mechagon. Mechagon has a great like sort of in-house resource system with the scrap pieces and whatnot that you can use for the junkyard. Here's how to make Mechagon twice as good right now. You make the spare parts and all this other bullshit currency and not take up space in my fucking inventory. Blizzard. Fucking Blizzard. Engineering or tinkering, whatever it's called. I also love how you can use the island's currency to build things in the world that benefit the players around you. I like you that can too. build your own mount, you can and paint it whatever it. color you want. That creativity is awesome. And I love that. And I Agreed. would love to see something like that in Big every agree. single zone going forward, especially in the next expansion when we get brand new zones every zone has its own unique thing that makes it special its own unique set of mechanics and i'd really like that maybe uh maybe we can talk about that in greater detail in a future video in conclusion guys patch 8.2 has been a good patch that has taken bfa in a good step in a good direction it's not an incredible patch it's nothing mind-blowing i mean i'm not yeah. gonna go look up like queen ajara and mechagon hentai online and like beat off to it it's so good i'm not gonna okay. do that, that that's a that's a good frame a good of measurement patch. i like that i do enjoy both zones to a point i just enjoy one more than the other I do like the Heart of Azeroth changes. I have enjoyed the content so far, and I'm looking forward to what's coming next. But of course, guys, these are all just my opinions. Feel free to disagree with me down in the comment section down below. And then Maybe you're you fucking banned. Like, hey, dude, voice it. Say, hey, Blizzard, yeah. you need to make more zones like Najatar. Multi-layered, yep. confusing, big like spaghetti mess of a zone. Do it. Puzzles and world quests, like all of it. I love it. Do it. Or maybe you agree with me and you might say, hey, Blizzard, like, Mechagon is really cool. I love how it works. Maybe we Kill should it. see future zones, even just simple leveling zones being like this in future expansions. That would be really cool. I would like to see that a know. lot, too. Leave your thoughts down in the comment that section amazing. below. And if you don't like a zone, if you really don't like Mechagon, maybe how could Blizzard fix it? Or what could they learn from it going forward from the mistakes? I think Mechagon is great. I love Mechagon personally. And of the patch as a whole, in your opinion. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button if you want. Subscribably wibbly if you want. I do appreciate it. And I will see you with my next one. In the meantime, I think I'm going to go uh, get in my longboat. And I'm going to sail down to the English coastline. And I'm going to capture me some filthy Saxon wenches. If you know what I mean. Oh, shit. That's right. So I'll see you guys with my next video <gasps> oh, once shit. I'm done with that. So until then, I guess I'll see you. Okay. Okay. 
So, uh, we love Nixium, right? We, we love Nixium. Nixium's great. Uh, in my opinion about the whole thing, right, is that I, I really do prefer Mechagon over Nash Tatar, but whenever I have flying, uh, I actually think that Nash Tatar is bearable. Without flying, it is unbearable. It is an annoying, fucking, stupid, goddamn piece of shit fucking zone that's complicated and unnecessarily, uh, labyrinth. It's an unnecessary labyrinth. Uh, okay, let's see. Where's the rest of it? I knew Nick said one last only a zone. Go back to WoW. Damn it, Todd. Um, the thing with, like, all these other games, right? It's a, it's the example that I used with fucking, uh, what was it? Like, going and dating a stripper. Like, that's really what it's about. Is that these other games, like ESO, Final Fantasy, and everything like that, it's like going and dating a stripper. And... Link the video? No, I, I mean, like, really. Uh, actually, true. No, you think about it, right? I don't know. Should I get, I get the whole metaphor again? Like, I've already done this before, right? Uh, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go through the metaphor again, okay? Everybody gets it. Everybody knows it, right? Uh, how the hell do you know what that's about? Well, it, it's a metaphor, okay? You don't need to understand what it's about and, like, have a personal experience in order to understand what's going on, right? Uh, not all Todd's are evil. We'll see what happens, okay? Metaphor, Andy. I do a lot of metaphor. Metaphor, uh, Mechagon hard dick mode, we are going to do that. People wanted me to watch, uh, Tip's, uh, interview video. I kind of want to do that. Uh, I, I guess we can maybe go through that and then do the Mechagon thing. I, I don't want to waste too much more time, uh, watching these videos, though, because I do want to make sure that I get Mechagon and, uh, uh, and, uh, the zone done, or the raid done. 